Time to do some sketchy it's doodah. Hello everybody. Um, yeah, so I haven't ridden my bike much in the past week because there has been virtually no fuel available and as I am able to not use my bike because I was editing and doing other work, uh, I've chosen to do that so I didn't take any fuel in the past week. However, I do have to make a trip now and there is still no fuel available down here in the area that I live uh, because people are now working together to organize um, when they see a tanker and then they follow it and then they block up all the roads around the station and then and then they basically buy all of the fuel <laughs> as soon as it's delivered and as i can do work from home whenever it comes to these situations i try to do the thing that i can do which is not use fuel that other people will need to get to work i know i don't use much on a bike but i don't know it's just the way i do things same as during the panic buying with a loo roll, I stopped using toilet roll, I was using a shower. <laughs> when I was a young lad, we ran out of toilet roll. As you can tell, this jerry can has been sat in the corner for a long time. It is completely dry and it's actually clean inside, thankfully. Right, uh, I don't advise you do this at home. I am a trained professional. I don't know how much fuel is in this tank, I'm just hoping there is some. It's nearly full. It's nearly full. Oh, that means we've got at least like seven litres. <laughs> uh, obviously, it would be better if I had one of the um, the pump things so I didn't have to suck on this directly. There's so many jokes going to come out of that. But yeah, um, if you ever do need to siphon fuel out of your own bikes, do not steal fuel. Um, don't try not to like drink it. As long as it gets at least about halfway down and it's on the downward side, it's going to work. Another thing you can do is this. Okay, so we've got it halfway, okay? What we have to do is tilt and release. And the precious dinosaur juice is flowing. No! <laughs> Must have looped round. I suppose this is the one silver lining of Derek being broken this long. No. Nope. <laughs> Don't tell me that was it. It's on the other side. <laughs> I better leave a little bit in there. Um. Uh -uh. There isn't much in this one, but I suppose I could just just a little bit, just a oh, just a little, just a little tiny bit. Okay, I think it's enough. It's enough. Do you know what is particularly funny? The fact that I had the uh, the Energica Eva on loan, and it went back the Friday the fuel shortage started. Because I know a lot of people were like, "Ah, oh, Spicy's all right this week because he's got the Eva." Nope, sadly not. Even if there is an issue, the, the best thing that everyone could do when there's a fuel shortage is try and say, I'll try and use a litre less this week, if possible. You know, just a litre. If people did that rather than getting 20 more than they would normally get, the issue would not be what it was, is. Things have calmed down, it's already getting there now. I think we're down to just a small percentage of places without fuel, but unfortunately they seem to be located in the south and southeast where I am, because that's why I've just done this and not bothered even trying to find any. Four bars, 
four bars is easy enough for me to get Reno to a less and get back and have some a little bit of fuel left in there for an emergency. Uh, yeah, I'm going to basically have to wait until we can get fuel again before I can get out and start having fun because there's, while there's a fuel shortage, I don't feel right having a jolly on a bike. I know there's things like people like carers and stuff that need it way more than I do right now. So I'm kind of waiting for everything to settle down, which it's probably already done by the point of you seeing this. Uh, micro update on the DR as we're here. The forks are with the people. They've definitely got them because I've contacted them, checked they've got them safe and sound, and they have. Uh, it's been a month since they've had them, and I haven't heard anything as yet, but they did say they were going to be busy. So, hopefully, some point, they'll appear. Sorry, Derek, and I've just drained you of even your fuel. That's all I had, man. You've got a little bit left in there. You'll be all right. Anyway, there you go. There's, uh, there's how I siphon fuel with a hose like this. I don't suggest you do it at home. It's very dangerous. Don't do it at home. That's what we have to say now. Don't do anything. Don't even get a fork out of a drawer. It could poke yourself with it. Until the next one, thank you for watching and uh, goodbye. <laughs>